<laughs> Skygazers massed outside the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in the U.S. Capitol, eager to see the rare transit of Venus. The museum offered telescopes. People donned special protective glasses so they could peer directly at the sun. Because you don't want them slipping off while you're looking. For the last time this century, they settled in for a view of Earth's neighbor appearing in silhouette against the sun. Ready to see whatever there is to be seen. I have my umbrella planning for all weather. And I have my fold-away chair because I'm here for the long haul. But the sky offered only cloud cover. Deeply disappointed. Sky watchers around the world set out to see the transit, which technically was visible from all seven continents. These observers in Australia had some degree of success. You just see a faint orange dot, and then there's a, um, like a little black dot on it. You could only just half see it, but yeah. Yet the view from space was pretty phenomenal. A NASA spacecraft that takes images of the sun provided this ultra-high-definition view of the transit of Venus. The Solar Dynamics Observatory collected the images in many wavelengths over the course of the planet's six-hour crossing. Venus appeared as a small black dot against the sun's glowing disk. Transits of Venus have happened only seven times since the phenomenon was first observed with a telescope in 1639, only twice since the invention of the television, and only once since the Solar Dynamics Observatory launched into space. Transits of Venus occur in pairs that are eight years apart, but the pairs are separated by more than a century. The predictability held a key for astronomers centuries ago, and the transits continue to provide learning opportunities, says Jim Zimbelman, a planetary geologist at the Air and Space Museum. Historically, the interest in transits started when we wanted to understand how big the solar system was. And there were complications maybe introduced by the atmosphere of Venus. Well, today's transit can actually be a test run for can we detect atmospheres around planets orbiting other stars. Who would have believed in just a few hundred years we would have advanced our ability to ask science questions like that? But in Washington, the question was... Is the sun out yet? If you missed your chance to see it this year, you might have missed your chance altogether. The next transit of Venus is not until 2117. Reporting from the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, this is Suzanne Presto, VOA News.